Good morning, Singularity. You got another fantastic winter day in Forza Horizon 4. Today we're going to be looking at something a lot different than the ZL1. And that is the Audi RS7. The Audi RS7 goes for an MSRP of about $113,900. Its horsepower ranges from 560 to 605. The engine is a 4.0 liter V8 and the curb weight is about 4,400 pounds. With this bad boy you'll be getting about 14 city miles per gallon in 24 highway. This is certainly a dream car for very, very many people. Alright guys, so uh, here we got it, the RS7, and uh, today we're just going to be doing a simple runabout test. Oh, Gotta turn it up, that sounds amazing. Oh yeah, you can definitely hear that V8 purring. The hydraulic wing comes out at about 70 miles per hour, I might be wrong. Controls like an absolute beast. It's got a very nice backfire. I gotta say, I'm most definitely loving this car. It was one of the first cars I bought when I got this game, and I kind of forgot about it. It is certainly one of the best sounding cars in the game. Nice and calm, smooth, and very fast ride. For top speed and acceleration, it is pretty standard when it comes to a V8. Uh, nothing special about it, but god damn, can you just hear it? Easily in my top five best sounding cars in the game. It's just absolutely amazing. Oops, sorry, clipped the Volkswagen. As always, the interior is almost 100% accurate to what it is in real life. I haven't personally been in an Audi RS7, but I have seen several of them at dealerships and it nails it. I have to tell you, Forza really does nail it. It's really, oh, <laughs> it really is a calm, calm drive. It's it, it's not out of control. It's very, very clean and kept. I also got to say that for. It being winter, which is the worst driving conditions in real life and in Forza, this thing handles amazingly. Alright guys, so we got the same uh, same race as we did last time. I'm just gonna run it real quick. If I do anything interesting, I'll, I'll pop back in. But uh, all right, so you're looking at 200 miles per hour as the top speeds, or 201, somewhere around there. All right, guys. So. Slightly faster than the ZL1, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly. It's a pretty standard time, nothing special. Um, so let's go ahead and throw some mods on it.
right guys so here we have the beautiful wide body 1200 horsepower rs7 this thing's an absolute monster it doesn't it certainly doesn't sound as good as the stock v8 but jesus christ does it pull all right guys so obviously we got a lot more power underneath the hood this thing well again it's it's no hypercar it, it's it it, it picks up speed so much faster than it did originally. It doesn't handle the best now that it's got so much power going to the wheels, but it, it, I mean, you want an Audi, you want the fastest ones, besides the, of course, the R8 V10 Plus. This is, this is what you're going to have to go with. I'll, uh, I'll check back in after I get done with this race, we'll compare the times, and, uh, I'll send you on your way. Alright guys, so we have the same general gap in performance as we had with the ZL1, but it wasn't as enjoyable, nor does it um, handle as well. So. Fortunately, the Audi RS7, it, it's, it, it's, it's nothing special, it's just nothing special. But the only good thing about it, other than it's just a good all-around car, other than just being a bland good all-around car, is that if you don't mod the engine, it sounds absolutely amazing. So, I recommend that if you're going to mod the hell out of it, try to make it as faster car I just leave the engine stock it's it, it it's not worth it to upgrade the engine you don't get a crazy acceleration boost and it sounds like shit so um, I'm gonna leave you all to your devices uh, I'll see you in the next one